Well, hello everyone and welcome back again. Uh, today I'm going to do an airsoft loadout on a budget. Actually part two I guess consider uh, the first video I did on airsoft on a budget. Uh, this is also a good idea for those who might live in hotter climates or play in the summer. This is actually a nice light outfit. Uh, you're not going to be too hot and actually gives you pretty ample protection. Uh, you won't get hurt too bad and you can pretty much put this together for about $50 or less. You put a little effort in, you're surprised you can find. And this is great for people who are new to it uh, and want to put something together. It might not have a ton of money to put into a massive loadout. Of those who might have seen earlier videos, I actually have a, f a Fallout themed loadout kit I put out every once in a while. I have my uh, interceptor vest and uh, I have a couple of vests and that laying around that mix up every once in a while. But I threw this together and I tried it out and it actually works pretty well. And I, I did it because of the hot weather. Um, because sometimes I want to look military, sometimes I want to look uh, civilian or do the dress up for the fallout, which is a lot of fun. But uh, So I put this together and it's actually worked out pretty well. And again, you can throw this together for about $50 or less. And it's surprising. You can you look really good and you'll look like you actually, uh, you're not a new player of somebody who doesn't want to walk around in modern civilian clothing and people constantly think that they're new or you want to look like you've, you're somewhat seasoned. Uh, so I'm going to show you some items that are, are worth considering and, and some you can put together that looks really good, especially for the price. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you, of course, is the uniform itself. Uh, if you are little have a little patience, you can surprisingly find this stuff very inexpensively in drift stores like Salvation Army and Goodwill. And a couple things here I'll show you. It's uh, pretty cheap and they're pretty common. First, of course, is this here, wood, Woodland Camo Shirt. You find these pretty much everywhere. Uh, I was able to get this shirt itself for $2.50. They seem to range at stores anything from about a couple of dollars to about $10 a piece. But especially if you go to drift stores like uh, Goodwill or Salvation Army, you can find them for a couple of dollars and it, it's surprisingly inexpensive. Um, I've seen them as high as I mentioned again, about $10 or $12. Uh, you also generally find them at yard sales. They're very common and they're pretty much everywhere. And you can find them, again, fairly inexpensively, especially the surplus ones from the 80s and 90s. And they're very, very easy to come by. And to match that, of course, we have the Woodland Camo Pants. Okay, between these two here, I might have spent about $7 for this set. So, I mentioned, yes, again, it's very inexpensive to outfit yourself out. You don't need the modern multicam. Uh, you can get the older stuff and look just fine. Depends on what look you're going for. I know a lot of guys now want to go to the multicam because it's brand new and it's the stuff that's going on now. But uh, you can look just fine using woodland camo and it's a lot less expensive. And you'll look pretty well uniformed and good. Uh, to match that, of course, you want a vest or something to carry your gear. And I purchased a vest the other day for $15. And this vest ranges in the price from $15 to about $20. You can find it online, journal, and eBay. It's an old surplus weight distribution vest. As you can see, it has a section in the back here to adjust for waist and chest size. It has loops on the bottom to hook to your belt, if that's what you desire. It has adjustable waist strap on the back and on the front it has the ammo pouches it comes with two ammo pouches two grenade pouches one uh, two uh, two ammo one grenade pouch one on each side and though this is meant for an m4 of course style weapon and all the magazines should fit perfectly fine in here for an m4 magazine I surprise it does fit other magazines. I have fit the AK magazines in here, as well as Thompson submachine gun magazines in here. Now the only problem is the AK magazines, just because of the design of the pouches, only fit in the top ammo pouches, not the bottom ones. Now they don't want to properly close when they're in the bottom ones. So you can carry, if you have an AK and you want an expensive vest, this surplus vest is fine. It'll, you can carry two extra magazines for $15, it'll hold them. A lot less expensive than a lot of the airsoft geared ones, which for $15 is maybe just get a vest. You have no Molly attachments, and you have to go out and buy the pouches, the, the, the pouches separately, and that really starts to add up. So here you at least have two pouches you can use for AK magazines, Thompson's. You can fill this up with at least four, and if you cram it in, you might be able to get eight Thompson magazines in here. Uh, little grenade pouches, interesting about these, they're not the regular ones. They actually, all these pouches are actually not only snapped, if I can get it off but they're also velcroed. So if you don't want to snap it, you can velcro it, and it fits tighter. Grenade pouches I find are good for carrying extra CO2 containers. Uh, I carry my revolver, uh, full moon clips in here. Uh, so it it's, works very well, especially for the price of $15. Uh, so overall, if you go by what I spent, I have about $23 worth, uh, maybe $22, $23 worth of equipment right here. 
and it's almost a complete uniform. So yes, this is well below the $50 mark. Uh, again, this is, this is something you can actually consider, especially on the budget. You have a uniform right here, and you'll look like you belong in the field if you want to go for the uniform look, not just, you know, you know everyday civilian clothing. And this is fairly inexpensive. As far as headgear, I have a couple options here, things for you to consider. First is this piece right here. It's one of those netting masks. Uh, this one came without ears, and I got a little inventive. I went to Walmart, and I got some green material and some batting I shoved in there as well. I stitched it together and put some Velcro to hold them on, and it works pretty well, and I actually was able to get this, no joke, for $2. Uh, and, and I, though granted I spent $8 extra shipping, so it's all $10, but still, if I was from a person uh, saw that in person, I could have got it for $2, it was used. And you can buy these new for about $15, and they're fairly effective, especially if you add this over here, I might have spent $5 in material for this stuff along the side. It's very simple to make. You just gotta cut it out the shape and then uh, stitch it together with the batting in between. It protects very well. And I do wear glasses, and surprisingly, this works very well as long as you're moving. The second you stop for about 15, 20 seconds, they start to fog up. But even just at a walking pace, your gla glasses never fog with this. So it's actually a pretty good thing. If you don't have glasses and you just have to wear goggles, this will probably work very well for you. And again, $15 brand new. And if you want to add this, it's an extra uh, $5. Looking at $20, overall this would cost you, this entire set would cost you about $42, $43, which then you're totally outfitted in a military style look. Uh, another hat to consider would of course is the boonie cap, and this will match your woodland camo uniform. The only problem with these, they're generally very light, I mean this one was only about $7 for the cap. It wasn't very expensive, but it's light, it's airy, it's great for the summer, and it's, but the only problem is it's uh, so light that when you hit in the head, you really feel it. It doesn't feels like you're not wearing anything at all. Oh, so so just for that, I'm going to show you what I did with my other hat, and I tried on this, and it works perfectly fine. What I did with my cowboy hat uh, for the Fallout outfit is, of course, using metal netting on the inside, and I wrapped it in black material to match the cowboy hat. But you can also wrap it in camo material. Now you had to buy a whole, I had to buy a whole roll of this metal wire, uh, the fencing wire, but that was only $6. So this will put the hat up with that for about $13 and get, just get some material. It might run you a total of $15 for the hat and creating this metal thing that goes around the top. You can see once it fits around the top, it would actually protect your head fully from getting hit. So it'll give a protection so you wouldn't feel the BBs when they hit you. And if you can do it in woodland camel to match the hat, you know, pretty well blend in and wouldn't look so bad. Uh, and they would put it again about $40 for an entire loadout kit and outfit. And it it would pretty much cover everything you need for most games, especially for short games, CQB games. You'd have everything. You can carry a couple of magazines. You can even surprisingly fit a Thunder Bee grenade in one of these ammo pouches. I actually was able to squeeze it in. Now, don't expect to try to squeeze it back in if you don't use it when you're in the field. It's a pretty tight fit. But it does squeeze into here uh, in the dumbbell shaped, uh, shaped Thunder Bee. Uh, bodies they do fit into these ammo pouches so it's very useful especially four ammo pouches you can carry a bunch of different things plus the two grenade pouches for $15 in the vest and the material on the uniform is thick enough that though you do feel getting hit it doesn't hurt that bad it absorbs most of it uh, haven't gotten any bloody marks or anything of that nature being hit underneath this uniform now, so yeah, you sweat a little bit, it's a little heavier, but you don't have the heavy weight of the uh, heavy vest. It's a pretty light vest, so I actually sweat less than I do in any of the other gear wearing that. Uh, so it's a good idea for something you might be willing to consider, uh, especially if you're new, you're looking for an inexpensive kit to put together, or you're just something lighter for summer wear or hot weather. Uh, this is something you might want to look into, and especially since it's so inexpensive. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. Bye.